What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Liquid Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so... Yeah, this episode is going to be... Fucking annoying, okay? So I'm already up to my gills with this whole thing. I, I really am. Now... You would think the creators would be cool enough to just find, like, just, just to make this a little simpler, but no, they have to make it hard for us every friggin' time. So I found out how to shut down everything, and that is we have to battle, or we have to destroy every single node that we just found in this island right here. Now, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's these antennas that we've been running around and all that crud. And the thing is, after you destroy the antenna, or after you defeat the, uh, the, the level 100 Electabuzz, you have to run all the way back to the same friggin' cave where, you know, you, you first got the G rank, and then you have to run all the way back to the next note. It's a bullshit, it's, it's just bullshit, uh... It's a bullshit sequence, and, well, I found this out through a YouTube video, or a YouTuber, who made this uh, video. Uh, I want to give him a little bit of a shout-out. His name is called The Ever Changer. I watched the episode 100, and, or episode 91 of the shutdown sequence, and, yeah, I'm not up for this, but, yes, we're going to be going back and forth. Uh, in the process, I will be battling a lot of trainers, and now, I just don't give a rat's ass about this, but yes, I leveled up all my Pokemon to level 100. I don't care anymore, guys. At this point, we're at the final end of this whole, uh, this whole, uh, what, walkthrough and all that stuff, and I kind of want to get it done. I really do, and this right here set me over the edge, so let's get it started. Now, let's go right ahead and find first node. I think we found one right here, close by, I don't even know. Hold on, uh, let's see, Crystal Cave, hmm, no, we've already been there, okay, let's go straight to, let's see, let's go, let's, let's be simple about this, let's go straight to the mountains right here, because we found one right there, we found one close by to, uh, which, oh wow, and uh, yeah, I forgot, you'll, you'll be finding a lot of trainers here too that, you know, have come out and play and all that stuff, so I'm going to be battling everybody, and of course, this little bastard has to... You know, has to poison us and all that crud. I have baskets on a crap basketball stick. God dang. This is really annoying. Okay, so blizzard attack. Finish this guy off. Good. Ninjask. And let's go with Sparky right here. Thunderbolt attack. Alright, so. I want to try my best to actually avoid most of these trainers. But at this point in time, guys, I'm just like, you know, I'm already. I'm just like, I've had it. I really had it. Like. It's it's it it sucks enough that they have to add uh, they have to add more teams into this, but they have to make it difficult to just find the goddamn nodes and, de and destroy them all. Why couldn't we just recharge the battery by running around just like the VS Seeker? I don't know. And god dang it! I right, really don't want to battle these guys, but fuck it. Earthquake, surf attack. Okay, so here we go. Earthquake, reversal. Here we go. Earthquake. Eat this. That. There we go, again. God damn it, I fucking hate all these trainers now. I really do. There we go, and Erwin has lost a lot of HP. So, yeah, that so much for me avoiding Pokemon and all that stuff and trainers. So, first, first uh, nodes that we'll be able to find is right here. So, this one right here. Nexus, uh, let's see, Nexus 1 activated, global power level 90%. Yes, we want to insert the G rank, and of course, we're going to be attacked by a level 100 Electabuzz, and that's exactly why I leveled up Pile of Swine to level 100, because I'm not going to deal with this. So, let's go with Earthquake. Doesn't affect me. Let's go with an Earthquake attack. Bam. So now we need eight more, and yeah. We need eight more, yeah, sequences and all that stuff, and the other one is right here. And yes, we want to insert it. Insufficient charge. God damn it. So, yep, like it says, we have to charge it back. So I will be right back, guys. I don't know what spot I will be in, but I'm going to go to the spots that I know the whatchamacallit's at. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I took 30 minutes, literally 30 minutes battling everybody, guys. I am so sick and tired of it. I really am. I'm, 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 I'm like... 
how is it okay so this is one of my one of my biggest critiques about this game right here is how is it that if they have a mission like this why couldn't we just charge the fucking G uh, ranking with just running that would have been simple enough but no they make us go all the way back they make us go all the way back uh, back and forth and everything and on top of that everybody's like every returns and they have Pokemon and their levels are upwards of 87 it's pissing me the hell off so I said fuck it I'm gonna use the walk through walls cheat just to walk around here and get to this place a little bit quicker because you know what I'm so sick and tired of it I really am so as you can see I am walking through the walls and if I like to be honest with you like play this game and you tell me you tell me if this is a if, if you're okay with this so I'm gonna be walking through the walls and I'm gonna be getting the uh, nodes right here that are quicker for us now I did not know that I was there so what we're gonna do there's a few nodes right here that are that are close by so I've already beaten most of these guys right here and I'm gonna get the close by nodes and then after that I'm just gonna go straight forward like you know every other stuff that you know we have yet to get because we go in zigzags literally in zigzags right here and Oh god. Fucking pisses me off. Here we have a burn heal. Oh god. Trust me guys, when you play this game yourself, you'll see how frustrating it gets. It gets just battling everybody again. So let's see. Uh did we go right here? I don't even know. Okay, so yeah, we've already been here. So there is like there are like three nodes close by to this area right here. So I'm gonna get these ones first. And again, don't care. I don't care what you guys say. But, oh, Draven, you're using a cheat. This, isn't that. No, we use cheats all the time right here. Especially in this freaking game, guys. First time playing it. And, God, it, it gets so fucking frustrating. So here's node number one. Or number two, I should say. So we're at 80%. Yes, we're going to put the G rank. And look at that. Level 100. Freaking Electabuzz. So let's go with Earthquake right here. So there you go. That's 70%. Now we got a few other ones right there, so I'm gonna go back and forth, so I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so that was quick, so let's move on right here. Okay, so we got three nodes. I believe we got like seven nodes left, and uh, well, like I said, I'm just gonna be walking through these walls and seeing what we can actually find right here. Now, that right there is incomplete. Now, this is the only time I'm ever going to use the walkthrough walls cheat because fuck it, you know, I'm not gonna go back and forth just battling everybody. So, you know, sue me. I really don't care. At this point, don't care. So, got that down, and there is another node right here. So, let's go ahead and grab that. Yes, take that, and bam, another electrode or electabuzz at level 100. And bam. Look at that. Easy. Okay, so that is 60%. I'll be back again, guys. Alrighty, so. Along the way, there was some, there was another node right here that we would have never ever, yeah, we would never expect it would have been here. So we're just gonna run through this hill right here. I think we already took out its partner close by. So there's like two right here in this hill. So that's one, and there's the other one. So this one. Okay, so I'm not gonna do anything with that. Let me just make sure if I got this one activated. Okay, so we already got that one. Okay, so now let's go right here and. Yes, I'm going to press that, and bam. Look at that, and, well, another earthquake attack for the win. Yes, sir. So that's five down. So alone right here in this whole general vicinity, we got four. So I'll be right back for another one right here. Okay, so I made it a little simpler now. Uh, completely forgot to the east of us, Safari Town is there, so I can fly back make it a little closer to when I get there so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight back to Meadow Town I believe I don't remember so let's go right ahead and go back to Sadway Town I should say and there are two visible ones close by right here and well there it is so let's go ahead and just like destroy this and okay so that's another one right there and there is an earthquake attack for the win, and that was that. So we're at 40%. Now let's go fly back to this 
this place right here. And as you can see, yes, I am running through this whole thing like if I, it was easy. Now, the, the jacked up part about this is that you ha you still have to add the freaking code to this thing. It gets so freaking annoying. You see, you, do you guys see what I mean? Like, we literally have to run back and forth to this place in order to just, you know, in order to, 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 to get this whole thing charged. I mean, if, if there was one thing, one freaking thing that the creators of this game had done that was wrong, it's this. It really is. And, actually, hold on. Okay, so, we already stocked up in everything, so let's go back out and, you know, walk through these walls. We are literally a ghost. I swear to God, guys, this right here is putting me off of hack games for just a while. Alright, not saying that I'm not going to play them anymore, it's just that, god damn, did I have to choose this game right here? So, Sandwe Town again, and let's see, now, what do you got that one? Pretty sure there was a, another one right here. No, let's go to the one that we couldn't get to. And I think it was that. Actually, hold on. Activated, yes. Okay, so there we go, and we're getting attacked again. And there you go. Okay, so that that brings us down to like 30%. Now, just for uh, added measure, let's go ahead and battle this guy, because, yeah. Oh my god, a Sedinja. We gotta go with the Pokemon that, that is effective against this guy, and there we go. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna take a look at the video again, see where else I can look at. So, see you guys. Okay, so let's see, we're, if I'm not mistaken, it's right here in Sadway Town, and we have to go all, not there, but we have to go up here, and, oh, we're gonna have to get off first, hold on, we kind of messed up right there, okay, so, go right here, and there you are, you big old mother grubber, yes, we're gonna destroy this, alrighty, there we go, and does it affect my avalanche, and bam, there you go. We are down to 20%. Trust me, guys. We're almost done. Just hang with me a little bit. Okay, so I have to remember, or I had to remember where, or retrace my steps in order to find the next one right here. But this is exactly where you're going to find the next node. It is a, a weird setting, a weird place to put it at. But it's just right up here. You would have never known it was here. So there you go, and this is node number 9, I believe, yes, and we got 20% left, so let's go ahead and just beat the crap out of this guy. Now, off screen, I did mess up by, you know, doing this whole, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, this whole walkthrough walls thing kind of messed my game up a little, so I had to restart and go back to 50% and all that stuff, but now we are at 10%. The last node, you guys would be surprised. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, yeah, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, the last one, or it could be the first one, it really doesn't matter, but it is at the location where all this god dang chaos happened, and it happens to be right here in the lighthouse, so now, just go ahead and press that button, 10%, and let's go right ahead and just open up this whole thing, and bam, we're getting attacked again by another Electabuzz, yeah. So I'm just gonna buzz through this right here. So yeah, like I said, guys. Uh, God damn. And there is no more power. Okay, so let's see. Uh, escape rope. Yeah. All right. Now we're gonna have to test out the the whole theory of uh, our Pokemon gaining levels. So let's go right ahead and go to Sandway Town. And let's go ahead and battle some uh, some Pokemon right here. So let's see. I don't even think I have any kind of a uh, So here it is. You're gonna battle an Altaria right there. So let's go right ahead and use that. And well, my Pokemon are at level 100. So we're gonna have to try something different right here. Actually, we gotta go back to the Pokemon Center. Oh god. Like I was saying guys, this game right here has been long, very long, and I'm like, I get it, I, I sound whiny, complaining and all that stuff, but, oh god, bear with me guys, like, I actually thought this, like, this game was going to be like, 
just like the regular game, but they're just gonna add the orange islands. But no, they added just more than just the orange islands, and that's, you know, a crim like three criminal syndicates in one episode, or one game, and it, it just, it, it's crazy. It's, it's freaking crazy, so... My biggest issue was that, going back and forth to get, uh, you know, a simple, like, a simple charge. That's my biggest complaint right there. And I guess you could say that the other thing, the other thing too, like, this actually makes me realize, because, like, I was always a big proponent to, to having a, a game with all the regions put into it. I was. And just by playing this right now, Oh my god, it's like three regions at once. There is a reason why there's only been two reason, regions, and, you know, it's been, like, it's been cut down immensely because of this. It gets so freaking long, and, god damn, okay, so, there we go, let's go ahead and use Megahorn, and let's go with the Brash right here, and because of that, we get experience points, okay, so that is that. Now, before we complete everything else, I'm just going to walk through everything. I don't care. Right now, I just don't care. There is something that we still need to do right here. I don't know if it's the next sequence of events or anything like that, but if you guys remember our friend who was looking for the Crystal Onyx, I'm going to have to save this game right here. Yeah, we're going to have to go in here and check things out. So here we are in the Crystal Caves, and here is our buddy looking for that Crystal Onyx. Things like it has to be around here somewhere. And there it is. What was that? Wait for me, brother. Okay, so we just heard a, a big noise right there. And look at that. We found ourselves a premiere ball. Okay, so let's go ahead and check thing. Ah, oh, crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. Okay, so... Fucking cock! Oh my god. Yeah, so I guess we're going to have to battle everybody here. God dang it. Like I said before, all these trainers, Pokemon are upwards of level 87 and all that crud, so I think I made the mistake of just going in there. Okay, so Kingdra, let's go. Latios. Dragon Breath, there we go. Steelix, going back to Godzilla. Flamethrower. There we go, Espeon, let's go with Sparky the Spark Dog. Right here, there we go, and Alteria's command. And Dragon Breath, there we go, finish it off, and yes, the Johto Champion. Even if I, like here, I can still say that I went ahead to head with the Champion. Okay, well I thought you were going to talk his shit on me. So, I'm going to try and skip everybody right here because I really don't want to battle anybody else. And just like that, oh wow, it, that's Lugia. Draven, this is it! The moment I've been waiting for forever! The Crystal Onyx is right here in front of me, that is Lugia. Finally I can catch it and prove my grandfather was right. Crystal Onyx, I challenge you to a battle. That's Lugia. God, this is tough. Charmeleon, weaken it! Oh wow, what the hell's going on? You can do it, brother! Thanks, Marissa. It's weak enough for me to catch it now. Wait. I don't feel the need to catch it anymore. This isn't what my grandfather would have wanted. Simply seeing and being able to battle such a magnificent Pokemon is enough and truly inspired. I have enough now to keep going with the crystal sculptures. Oh wow, it's going off the anime. Draven! It's going out of control. It needs to be calmed down. Come it down. Come here. Come it down. No, no, yeah. Okay, so. Oh, crud. Okay, so we're going up against a crystal onyx right here, and uh, that doesn't look like a crystal onyx right there. That is a purple onyx. Okay, maximum effort right here. And. Well, we're just gonna try and hurt it or try and capture it. I don't even know. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see what happens if you try and capture it. Let's see. Okay, we can capture it. Okay, so it is a tougher Pokemon than I expected. So let's go. Crap, I don't have Reloom in here. God dang it. Okay, so let's go with Sparky. Let it be physical with it and. Okay, so let's see. Revive. 
I think that that's why. I think that's why my onyx is uh, is that way. Because I do have an onyx with me. Let's see, I have a potion. And I have a potion on you. Yes, you are now paralyzed, you a-hole Pokemon. And let's go back to Thrasher. I can't with oh, yeah. Okay, so that is it can't be switched out. So let's go with light screen, phantom, flash. I'm just gonna let flash. Yeah, I'm gonna let uh, Sparky. Yeah, I'm gonna let Sparky faint or something. And okay, so now maybe I can switch. Okay, there we go. And make a horn. There we go. And. Alright, try and capture this Pokemon right here. And there we go, we got the Crystal Onyx. Mm, let's just put Crystal Onyx on it. Would've been cool if it was like, actually Crystal. You know, well, let's just put Crystal. Let's see, Crystal. Crystal, right here. And... Well, just like that, we caught Onyx. Wow, I mean, that was amazing! You handled that fantastically for a split second. I thought I saw my grandfather in you during that battle. Thanks for everything you're even now. I'm totally inspired to keep on working. Feel free to swing by our shop anytime. Come on, Marissa, we're going back to the shop. Thanks for helping my brother. He's really happy now. Okay, so we're not even crossing that. Uh, I should probably take off the, the cheat right here because, yeah. Okay, so we're battling more people along the way. Rock Smash is not really a rock type move. And let's just destroy people right now. There we go. And Total Dial. He has a level. Wow. Uh, level 86 Total Dial. About to kick my butt. There we go. Like the buzz. Go with Earthquake. And coming out with a ditto. God dang. Let's go right here. There we go. Okay, so that was that. That was not a Crystal Onyx. And look at that. TM30, Shadow Ball. Pretty cool. Good stuff. Okay, so... Let's get the heck out of here. Oh, God. You can tell how tired I am about this. Okay, so... Yeah. I guess in the next episode, we're going to just go through and beat the rest of the gyms and take us where it takes us, okay? At this point, I kind of feel like this game is its running its course right now. It really is. Uh, fuck. I don't know if we took care of all of Team Nexus and all that stuff. I kind of feel, kind of feel like there's a little bit more to it than just what they're going through right now. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next episode of Pokemon Liquid Crystal. And I am co I am hoping to baby Arceus that it's the it's the very end right here because yeah. I'm kinda sick and tired of it again. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.